Hey guys, I hope you're really, really well. I'm gonna show you my recipe for the most delicious veggie mighty malagatawny. It's a great soup, it's full of the good stuff. Let me show you how to make this beautiful soup. It's so simple. Get yourself a high-sided pot on a medium heat. Uh, I'm gonna use spring onions, but you can, of course, use leeks or onions. So one bunch we're gonna use. A couple of sticks of celery, uh, which is just beautifully fragrant. So I'll just cut the celery in half like that and then lengthwise into little chunks and just finely chop it. Just put a little tablespoon of oil into the pan and then as you're chopping each veggie, just get that into the pan. I really love the kind of sweetness that you get from this. So again, just finely slice the spring onions. In we go. So give that a nice little stir. What we're gonna do now is just gonna take it a completely different direction. You're gonna get amazing results with curry paste. They're really good quality. You can get all kinds of different pastes, so pick your favorite. And we're gonna put two tablespoons in here. What I love about it is it's a great family dish because you can use up leftovers. But I wanna concentrate today on this. Button up pumpkin, as they call it in some parts of the world. So 500 grams is about that much. I'll cut this in half. I'll use the end that doesn't have any seeds just to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm gonna leave the skin on. Why? Because it's one less job and because it has the most amazing flavor. So very carefully get yourself a box grater and just gently grate the flesh and the skin. There's actually something really nice about the kind of technique of grating. And I find that it kind of just gives you a slightly different flavor. Look at that, grated butternut pumpkin. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this into the pan and then let's grate the rest of it. And we're just gonna sweat that off for a little bit while I have a quick little wipe down. So I wanna show you like a little preparation that I love to do. I get a little bowl and I put in some cold water. I'm gonna use the herb coriander. I've got a nice little bunch here and I'm just gonna pick through it. So that top leaf that's nice and beautiful, that will be garnish for sprinkling on at the end. And then with the rest of it and the stalks, I'm just gonna finely slice up and put it into that soup. And look, if you don't like coriander, some people don't, I love it. Um, you could use a little bit of mint, which is really nice. You could even use basil actually. So in we go with the herbs. It smells amazing. So look, at this point, I'm gonna season generously with pepper and I'll put a nice little pinch of salt in there as well. I'll go in with two liters of stock. The better the stock, the better the soup. You can use beef, you can use lamb, chicken, veggie stock, whatever you've got. That will remove all the sticky bits from the bottom of the pan and that'll give you a nice dark color as well. And then 100 grams of rice. So look, I'm gonna bring that to the boil and then simmer it for about 15 minutes until the rice is beautifully cooked. And you should end up with a really beautiful, tasty, slightly thickened soup that's gonna be a joy to eat. Right, 15 minutes. So this has had just under 15 minutes. I can see already that the rice is swollen up. So it's nearly there. Now, I did say this is a great opportunity to get more veggies into this great dish, right? and we don't just have to use veggies or any leftovers, you can use the freezer. So two great things that I always have in my freezer are frozen peas and frozen spinach. So 300 grams of each straight in there. Frozen spinach, sometimes people look down on, they think it's really substandard. It's a really brilliant little veggie to have in your freezer ready to use. So now the spinach and the peas are in there, I'm gonna give it its last five minutes of cooking and I'll serve up. So it's been cooking away for five minutes. The rice has plumped up. It's absorbed all that lovely spice and stock. Have a little try of the soup. Oh, it's delicious. This is a really comforting dish. And what I quite like to do is put some nice kind of sprinkles on it. These are all optional, by the way. So let's serve this up first. Look at that. Such a hearty soup. The colors are really amazing. If you want to, just a little teaspoon or two of yogurt allows you to kind of ripple that through. So you can crumble up some poppadoms or some Bombay mix and a little bit of crunch, just a little bit of fun. And then take those lovely coriander leaves and just sprinkle it over the top. Maybe a little kiss of olive oil. So there you go, guys. That is a beautiful, exciting, big, hearty dish. Right, let's have a little try. Mm. There's something about having rice in a soup that makes it ultra comforting. So come on guys, what are you waiting for? Get the ingredients and have a little cook up. You won't regret it.